Yo, what is going on everybody? So I know it's been a while since I did a video uh, other than the one last week. So uh, I made a, a pact with myself that for the next two weeks I am going to be going live at least four to five times a week. Generally around about this time, maybe an hour or two earlier, this kind of bracket. But today I wanted to come to you with one, and this is particularly a poignant point of discussion in this times of Corona virus and uh, the economic impact is having a lot of people. Now, I don't know if you've been keeping a keen eye out, but for those of you who have, you would have noticed that there's been a lot of chicks e-begging, a lot more OnlyFans posts being put up all over the place on social media. There was even one woman, and I kid you not, this was unbelievable. If you follow me on Twitter, you may have seen this. She was posting photos of her dead daughter's tits on her OnlyFans account to get money. Wow. That's all I'm going to say. I might even see if I can do a video on that in the next couple of days. But for now, I'm going to get into this one because I know you came here for the title, if not the thumbnail. Gold digger actress Koo Stark, 63, loses multi-million pound battle with her ex to support her for life. Ms. Stark, 63, said, Financier Warren Walker promised in 1997 to give her £50,000 per year. Payments stopped in 1999, and Ms. Stark, Prince Andrew's ex-lover, oh, so the chick who was fucking royalty before she moved on to this rich guy uh, to try and get a multi-million dollar settlement out of him, eventually... So she's taken him to court 20 years later. So she's jumped off the royal carousel onto this rich guy and then divorced him and then got 50,000 pounds a year for him from him for a couple of years. And now 20, minute, 20 years later, when she's all washed up, got no money left, right? She's, she's out of coinage. Now she's coming back for a divorce settlement. Dynamite Rabbit, thank you, brother for that very generous donation, man. I just want to say a shout out to Dynamite Rabbit. He was, he he had my back when shit went down. When I first launched my channel and I lost my job uh, as a result of my channel, Dynamite Rabbit, he looked after me, man. So I just wanted to say, appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Dynamite Rabbit, thank you very much, man. Uh, always got love for you, man. Here we go. A judge has deemed the verbal agreement that he would pay her 50,000 pounds a year for basically forever, um, a non-binding agreement. Judges deemed it a non-binding agreement. Ms. Stark, mother to Mr. Walker's daughter, said he made the promise in returning in return of... Her. Ah! 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 This is why I don't read the whole article typically, because I like to just get a feel from it from the start, because I want to have some surprises left for me so I can share those surprises with you guys. Ms. Stark, mum to Mr. Walker's daughter, said he made the promise in return for her turning down a newspaper column called, and I quote, Diary of a Single Mother. <laughs> she claimed he was in breach of his promise. And another where he pledged to give her £200,000 for a home. So that's £200,000 on top of the £50,000 per year for life. Mr. Walker, 60, said he owed her nothing, branding her a gold digger. <laughs> Doesn't she fit the profile of a witch as well? There we go. Surprised that hat wasn't a little more pointy. After a private hearing, Judge David Halpern, QC, threw out her claim saying, and I quote, it would not be an exaggeration to say that the parties disagreed on almost everything, end quote. Uh, and uh, this is, ah, uh, here we go. So this was Warren Walker now coming out of court, right? It's him coming out of court, you know, well-dressed, fairly well-heeled, clearly still in the business field. And this is... So I just want to give you a comparison, right? To anyone, 
guys, seriously, if you ever see any of your friends seeing a really hot girl on the street and going, oh my God, I would marry her. I want you to show her him or her. Well, whoever he identifies as, whatever. I want you to show him this photo. Right? Bookmark this. Show him this photo. And then show him this photo. Because that girl that you want to marry based on her looks, that's what she's going to end up looking like. I'm just saying, right? Don't shoot the messenger. They had even disagreed on how many times they had been engaged, he said, with Ms. Stark claiming that three times they had pledged to get married. So you mean three times she's told him that she wanted to get married and three times he's been like, nope, not getting married. Value my wallet. Want to keep my shit. He also said Ms. Stark had been, and I quote, surprise, surprise, living beyond her means for many years. Shocking, as Joker would say. <laughs> the pair met in 1994 and lived in Knightsbridge, West London, before they split. Hmm, let's do some digging on Ms. Stark. I'm just going to turn my little hotspot on here. Koo Stark. Let's, let's go digging. Let's go digging in real time here, guys. <laughs> let's go digging in real time. Jump on that. Jump on that Wi-Fi here. Connect. Hope you're ready for this. All right, let's check out Koo. So, American photographer. This is what she used to look like. She used to be, or she used to be all right looking. I can, I can respect what she used to look like. But see, this, this is the, this is the before and after. This is then, and this is with, by the way, this is with makeup. This is with makeup. Don't buy the lies. The images, they fool you. Let's have a look for some articles, shall we? See what we can dig up here. So she's still holding solo exhibitions. So clearly the exhibitions are not working out too well for her. When Prince Andrew met Ku Stark, his most scandalous girlfriend. <laughs> Tell me more, nine honey. Years before... Andrew was caught up in the Epstein controversy. He almost caused a different kind of embarrassment to the royal family over his romance with... Oh, shit! <laughs> no way! Oh, guys, I am so glad I did this video. Dynamite Rabbit, you fantastic man for sponsoring this video. This is for you, buddy. He almost caused a different kind of embarrassment to the royal family over his romance with... Erotic film star, Koo Stark. So this chick is a carousel riding porn star. Oh my God, I'm so glad I did this. American born Stark met Andrew in February 1981 at his birthday party, at his 21st birthday. They were introduced by mutual friends and the prince who was then second in line for the throne was said to be immediately besotted with her. Jeez, who does this sound fam famously like? Uh, Megan Markle. Meghan Markle. But it wasn't before, long before the British press discovered their relationship. It all went pear-shaped when Andrew and Stark enjoyed a romantic holiday in the Caribbean. On the surface, their trip was nothing scandalous, but it while they were away, it was discovered by the media that Stark had starred in some racy movies. That was when the story of their romance really made headlines, as Stark was labelled the erotic actress who'd featured in the steamy 1976 film, The Awakening of Emily. Wait, so how is this, how old is this chick now? Oh man, I, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep digging here, right? Uh, how old is Ku Stark? Let's see how old she was when she ended up in this movie. So she's 63 years old, right? So... She was born in April 1956. 
So if this happened in 81, at his 21st birthday, the 56... So she was 25 years old um, at the time she was in that movie. So she was 10 years older than... Um, about roughly 10 years older than Prince Andrew. A cougar indeed. <laughs> She'd already hit the wall by that time. Um, Kustak, whose real name is Kathleen, was born in 1956 to showbiz parents. Of course she was. Who encouraged her to follow in their footsteps when she left school. When she was... Wow! Wow! When she was 17, Stark appeared in the film... Marquis de Sade, Justine, an erotic film that follows the rather alarming plot of a man who fantasizes about torturing naked women. So when she was 17 and 25, she was doing basically erotic films. And then she tried to monkey branch when she hit the wall onto a member of the royal family. And then she tried to monkey branch onto a rich financier and get him to pay her, you know, hundred thousand dollars Australian every year for life, plus give her two hundred thousand dollars, four hundred thousand dollars Australian on top of that to purchase a property. So this happened twice, and now she's a single mum, and now she's digging for money. Now she is. Wow. Adriana Ramos, thank you for that uh, two dollar donation. Says, can you punch Miggy one hundred one in the face? Well, he's overseas at the moment, so if I wanted to, I couldn't do that. Um, I, I Personally, I'm friends with him, so I have no inclination to do that. Um, but, I mean, look, if, it, if you're saying that because he has some theories that you may disagree with, um, you know, him and I don't agree on everything, uh, but, you know, he's been good to me when times have been tough, so uh, I appreciate him for that, but I will, um, I'll, tell him, I'll tell him you said that. <laughs> Um, now he, see, he, here's the, here's the bit where it gets real interesting, real interesting. I saw a, in fact, it was Sandman that shared this particular uh, picture. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Because this was actually quite important. Uh, device folders. I'll have to get it later. But basic, basically what happened, there was a guy who posted uh, just in the last few days on one of Sandman's videos, I believe. And what had happened, this particular gentleman had parents who were born overseas. So, uh, but he lived in California and, you know, he only spoke English. He didn't, even though he was a Gonzalez and you would assume that they would speak Spanish, he didn't speak Spanish, he spoke English only. He was born and raised in America. And the ex-wife, who also had parents born overseas, said that she was concerned that he would flee overseas with their child because he had parents from overseas, which meant that his visitation rights were reduced from 50-50, down the middle, to, wait for it, 20% custody, supervised, which meant that he has to pay for the supervision, plus she gets child support based on him having 80%, her having 80% custody, plus because, you know, he doesn't have his child half the time, he's going to be working to keep his mind off things, which means she gets even more child support. So, lucky for her, not so lucky for him. Uh, I suspect that this is part of the reason why Meghan Markle is taking Harry back to California, not to Canada, where they originally went because she would be able to play the same card, get majority custody, get the majority of the assets and the majority of the child support. Because of course, Harry will go, well, fuck, I've got nowhere else to go. I'm gonna go back to the royal family, which means he's got plenty of money now, which means she gets plenty of money. I don't know if that's what's gonna happen, but I've got a funny feeling that that's what's down the track for him. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here for now. Hopefully, I'll see you again tomorrow. I really appreciate you all. But just quickly, before you go, uh, if you are currently using Chrome browser or you're using another browser because you don't like the fact that Chrome doesn't give you privacy, even though you like the way it works, 
please head over to sydneymigtail.com forward slash brave and download the Brave browser. It does help to support this channel and especially me now that I have no job right now. And thank you, Johnny Vegas, for that $2 donation. says so showing my support. So glad I'm single. I appreciate you, man. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Check out, keep, if you, if, by the way, if you're seeing this video, um, just check that you're still subscribed. And if you are subscribed, make sure you hit the all button because otherwise YouTube will decide which of my videos it recommends to you and which it doesn't. And it's probably gonna recommend none because it doesn't want you to hear what I have to say because I'm not a male feminist. But yeah, check out Brave Browser, sydneymigtail.com slash brave. If you wanna donate via PayPal, feel free to do so. Um, otherwise there's crypto, there's other ways you can support this channel. Check it out in the description below. If you don't wanna, if you don't wanna support financially, man, I, I just appreciate a thumbs up, a share and a, and a like on this video. Let's keep the message out there in the manosphere and I'll be working towards uh, getting a few more people on for another live stream very, very soon, like I did last weekend. So yeah, share this video, like it, subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.